we start tonight with sadness and shock in Seattle's Wallingford neighborhood. Community shaking and waiting to learn more following a tragic house fire on Saturday. And said inside of that home, the bodies of two adults, a child, a baby, and a dog. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Brian Jackson. And I'm Hannah Kim. An 11-year-old girl managed to get out of that burning house tonight. Still so many questions on what led up to that fire. Fox 14's A.J. Janival went to Wallingford to hear how the community is responding to this tragedy. A.J. Throughout the day, people have come by leaving flowers in front of this burnt family home. Seattle police say it's their homicide investigation unit that is looking into this case, but days later, police have released no new information. Flames engulf a family home in Seattle's Wallingford neighborhood Saturday morning. It's been kind of difficult with me because I felt close to them. Investigators report four people died, two adults, a child, and a baby, as well as a dog. John Zitkovich lives right next door. He tells me over the last few years, he watched this young family grow. So I, I felt a connection with them. He says he's heartbroken by this tragedy. The part that bothers me the most in, in my emotional reaction is um, the blockage of the doors to restrict escape. They didn't have a chance. We do know that uh, the front door was uh, barricaded with some sort of object that officers were trying to kick down. Seattle Fire report they got on scene but moved back because it was not safe due to a threat of violence. Seattle police say the only survivor of the fire is the one who called 911. From an actual 11 year old uh, that had mentioned that uh, uh, <clears throat> there was a deceased person inside their house. On Monday, Neighbors dropped off flowers outside of the charred remains of this family home. A real tragedy in our society to experience such a thing. So I'm, that's it. I'm struggling with that. Investigators have not released any information regarding what caused this fire or the victims involved. I reached out to Seattle police several times today. They told me there is no new information. The minute that we learn more, we'll keep you up to date. Reporting here in Seattle, I'm AJ Janivel for Fox 13 News.